German camp. She scored a 10 in the team championships. Comes into this competition as the leader, and what a superb bow worker she is. Yes, she really is. Let's just look at this. She only dropped 0.05 on her volunteers as well. And she's got a really clear lead because the Russians, to carry through their story that Mostopanova and Baraksanova were injured, which is what they claim was the reason they couldn't take part in the top 36, have pulled them out of this event. So she's well clear, and I'm sure that's the gold medal for her, even before the score comes up. This is her unusual start. An Arab spring and a back straddle straight into the Stolder movement to handstand. Gabriella has a most beautiful line right through the movements, never turns her feet up, never bends her knees, her legs never part, just at the very end there to stabilize her landing. She really is such a superb worker. Look at that 9.95 in a class of her own, Gabriella Farnry. Yeah. Carries through 9.863. Quite a startling little performer, and especially in that leotard with the petal defect brightly coloured. She really does make the best of her looks. And with gymnastics like that one, super well. The young East German team have had a very good competition. They're the Jaeger somersault and then immediate drop to the low bar Straddle up to handstand, half turn. This is the clear circle. The last section of the bar routine, we call this winding up towards the dismount. Feet onto the bar for the undershoot movement, a lovely pike shoot front with a half twist. Came into the competition on bars, second equal. And I think that may, may be a good enough routine to get into the medals. We'll just have to wait and see what the judges think. 9.9, .9, smashing score. Very clear, Gabriella Farnre.